Thursday night football comes to you from McDonald Jones Stadium in Newcastle for the first time this season as the Newcastle Jets bid to keep their slim finals hopes alive against last season's grand finalist, Perth Glory. And the Jets and Glory are two sides who haven't had a whole lot to cheer about this season, but it's not just their record to date which is similar. Both clubs underwent off-season upheaval. Budget constraints meant the Jets were unable to acquire any imports, while Perth lost their three highest goal scorers from the previous campaign in Sam Kerr, Rachel Hill and Alyssa Mort. Andrews angling her run. And Crystal Thomas picking up the scraps after Newcastle. Do enough defensively. Hannah Brewer is going to put it over the... Uh, Short for another glory corner. It's been a few of these. It's ball delivered, and what a header from Hannah Lowry, who scores her first WE goal on starting debut. A stunning header into the top corner. What power and precision. 1 0 to the visitors. They have a lead for the first time this season. Well, Crystal Thomas hits a really flat corner. Terrific delivery. The Jets marking in a zone. And Helen Lowry not picked up by that zone. And she crunches the header. What a fantastic goal. Twice this week. Here's the run and confidence all of a sudden from Morgan Andrews. And now Hannah Lowry. <laughs> Hannah Lowry unleashing on the left boot. How many games has she played? It's ridiculous. This, this is her fifth. This is her fifth match. Starting debut. Whack. Rushing forward. Rolling wide to Tamplin. It's a call to Lauren Allen. This is better build up from the Jets. Probably their best passage of attacking football. All first half. And it ends with a strike from Tara Andrews. But it was better from Newcastle. Yeah, it's a good build up. They just got a little bit, I don't know, nervous at the end. The, the momentum of the attack stopped. Perth backed right off. From there, right? It was with Glory in 16 17 season where they made the grand final. Now it falls for Thomas. Neat skills here from the American. Taking it wide, it is a tough angle now. And is it a penalty? A penalty against Tess Tamplin, who looks bemused. And to be honest, it was a penalty she really didn't have to give away because Thomas was heading away from goal. But was there contact? Well, I think it was contact. I think there was accidental. Maybe it's late lack of concentration. Thomas has been difficult because she, if you clip the def if you clip the player there, accidentally or not, the ref has to give a penalty. Well, it looks soft at best, but an opportunity now from the spot for Perth Glory, and a beautiful finish from Morgan Andrews to make it 2-0 for Perth Glory. Their biggest lead of the season. It's been a first half to remember for them here in Newcastle. And she grabs her second goal this season in the Westfield W League. So the hands in the back. She's been pinged for. There was no clipping of the heels. Nice penalty to send the glory into the break. Two up. Rarefied heights for this team. So Paige Kingston Hogg is out there, a half-time substitution for Newcastle. And Jenna Kingsley, that was a decent first touch, but a second took her away from goal, a tight angle. So Kingston Hogg on for Petratos at half-time. And Hannah Brewer delivering in towards Tara Andrews. And Morgan Aquino with the first save she's had to make tonight, the 18-year-old. Well, almost an early dividend for Coach Wilson. Rearranged formation. Hannah Brewer was great in that first half defensively. Fires in a beautiful cross. And this is Tara Andrews now. Now you can do your area work and flicking on with... Well, they may have to fight back again here because it's Hannah Lowry with an attempted strike just from outside the box. We've seen her hit them from there, but it was Jenna... I should say Paige Kingston Hogg who closed her down, who now releases Jenna Kingsley. All of a sudden, there's space aplenty out there. They're going hell for leather, both of these two sides, in 30-plus degrees. Lauren Allen on the angle, cuts it towards the back post. Now falls for Kingston Hogg. Collister. Can she deliver a dangerous ball? It wasn't bad, but just too low in the end and straight to glory feet. 
tell you what, if the Jets can fight back here, big tip for Ash Wilson and the tactical tweaks at half time. Oh it's, a, it's a very, very promising attack. They just ran short of one player running through midfield. Caitlin Douglas, who scored in the defeat to Western Sydney last week, and she was almost back on the score sheet. Tight angle and had a good fist of it. Yeah, and Hannah Brewer just dragged upfield, ball over the top. A nice one, too, from Romero. Good angle. You can see Hannah Brewer just drifted upfield. Sydney Uni teammate to Sydney Uni teammate there. Wheel at a Collister. The run of Jenna Kingsley opts to take them on herself and wins a free kick here. Tegan Collister. Decent outcome. Out of jail a little bit. So the free kick won by Collister. Now attempting to be delivered by Jenna Simon. And was just over the head of Andrews. Appeals for handball. And Lauren Allen almost looped it in and somehow the ball stays out. And Ghirardello is going to say it's just a goal kick. But can we have a look at the replay because... There may have been a handball in all of that. Dangerous. Now off the head of Carroll. Little tip onto the bar there. Credit to the keepers. It was largely redundant in the entirety of the first half. Numbers in the middle again. Douglas is there waiting. Back for Andrews. And she had a second tonight. They've let her run. And off the underside of the crossbar. And Douglas scores in consecutive matches. Three goals this season for Caitlin Douglas, the leading goal scorer for Perth Glory. And her wonderful season continues in the Hunter. Well, Andrews, this is an excellent effort. And just Collister couldn't put her under the pressure needed. And it was a brilliant shot. Completely intentional. Picked a spot, head was up. Tessa Tamplin. Berlin in front of Jenna Kingsley, falls back for Poutney. Her first W League minutes this season almost resulted in a goal and she'll probably think she should have done better because she found the back of the net regularly in Sydney during the off season. Well, keep her strong, Aquino, to come out and punch. Punch isn't completely effective, however. Tamplin taking on Thomas and beating her for pace. She's left the American in her way. She looks to deliver. What a goal from Tessa Tamplin. Straight into the top corner. From a long, long way out, if you don't mind. Is that a goal of the season contender? Late hope, maybe for Newcastle. Tamplin has her second goal in the W League. Oh. Well, might sound silly to say, but the most impressive part of this was the space she'd made, she worked for, with positivity. I, I suspect this is probably more a cross than a shot. I'm looking, there's a player in the centre. Oh, I've missed her. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> Woohoo! And that's the celebration. Well, deserves a goal, has had a really strong season. Space again for Perth to run into. Here's Celia. Oh! The goals are coming spectacularly. Late on in this second half in Newcastle. Now the Spaniard just curling one into the top corner. Bombs away in Newcastle. Well, again, carrying it right into the Jets' traffic zone. And they had players there. Claire Wheeler was there trying to dispossess. Couldn't do the business. Which would be a far cry from whatever I'm thought after that first round draw with Melbourne City. They've been close, but just unable to snatch points when they've been on offer. Here's an opportunity for Lauren Allen for her first W League goal. And a golden season here locally. Carried her into the Jets. And now she has smashed that ball home at the near post to score her first goal. Well, now we've seen the goal of the night. That is a sensational reverse pass from substitute Poutney. Sizes it up beautifully. It's, it's millimetre perfect. The finish is superb from Allen. This is good football. Beautiful ball.
beautiful finish. So a very long portion of stoppage time is coming towards the end now. And Perth finally tastes some glory in season 12 of the W League. It's taken them nine matches, but they have three points. And it's a win which takes them above the Jets into seventh on the W League ladder. And they'll enjoy three weeks off now before aiming to finish their season strongly against finals contenders Brisbane, Sydney and the Wanderers. Full time in Newcastle, the Jets two, Perth Glory four.